Today, I'm learning about why the sanctuary is part of breeding programs, how they are regulated and what happens to the cubs. James is talking to me about how breeding programs work and how the sanctuary supports them. Well, James, I know here at the Big Cat Sanctuary, you're involved in breeding programs. Now, what does that entail exactly and why? So yeah, we're part of an internationally coordinated breeding programs here, European and global. And that really is just to have a diversity of DNA within a captive population of an endangered and critically endangered species of big cats. And that really allows us to know that it's a safety net. It's a Noah's Ark. It's that cat ever goes extinct in the wild, we have got a diversity of DNA across all those collections to be able to reintroduce them. And that's vital as a backstop for these critically endangered species. But actually what we work hard at is then funding conservation programs that protect those cats in the wild to stop them becoming extinct. So this breeding process is regulated. You wouldn't just put two cats together? No, so each endangered cat species has what we call a stud book holder. So they will have a register of the DNA of every cub that's born for that species. And that's really important because it allows them to, to look at the cubs that are born across all the collections that are involved in the program and match them with other cubs. So that diversity of DNA remains, but also so that it's very highly regulated. There's no chance of having the genetic problems that come when cats are put together or maybe inbred as they shouldn't do. And also, as part of that regulated program, we know that no money exchanges for any of these cats. We know we want to combat the illegal wildlife trade. This is about keeping cats on the planet while having a diversity of DNA and protecting them. Last year, snow leopards Leila and Yako were successful in conceiving cubs, Koshi and Kumbu, who are now almost fully grown, but are still living with mom and dad. Last year was an incredibly exciting year for us. As part of the breeding programme, our snow leopard pair, Layla and Yako, gave birth to two young boys born in April, uh, Koshi and Kumbu, the first ever snow leopard cubs that we've ever had born here on site. And it was amazing watching them grow up and watching them play as well. They're really, really playful, possibly the most playful cubs we've ever had. Koshi, one of the twins, has received what we call a recommendation from the breeding program to move to a different collection. And there's been a female identified for him there to, to breed with. So as sad as it is to see them go, they can't stay here forever. It's really important they go on to support the captive population of snow leopards. So that's what he's going to do. Uh, they're nearly 18 months old now, so they're big grown-up boys. It's always sad when cubs born here leave, but it is what needs to happen, and it's all for the greater good. Next week... I'll be learning about two wonderfully loved up cats, Neron and Kira. Jaguars, like a lot of cats as well, are also solitary in the wild. So it's really lovely to be able to see these two getting so much out of each other's company in this kind of environment. It's really lovely. <laughs>